One of the most interesting videos that I've seen in the last year is the comparison of Obama's $100 million in cuts to the total budget using pennies. The Republican-controlled House recently passed $61 billion in cuts for the current fiscal year. That got me thinking. That seems like a lot bigger cut than the President's $100 million. But while I'm really happy that the Republicans are trying to force some sanity into the federal budget, how does it compare to our total debt? Since the debt that we are piling up is really going to be a burden on our children and our grandchildren, and they really don't understand money all that well right now, let's represent it in something that they can understand. Cheerios. Let's make this one Cheerio represent the $61 billion that the Republican House recently cut from this year's federal budget. A very expensive Cheerio. To put that number in perspective, you could buy enough Cheerios with $61 billion so that every person in America could eat cereal every breakfast for a little over three years. $61 billion out of a federal budget of approximately $3.8 trillion, or those 62 Cheerios, about 1.6%. $61 billion Cheerio, $3.8 trillion budget. Now let's compare that $61 billion to the federal debt. Currently the federal debt sits at approximately $14 trillion, or those 229 Cheerios. Again, the Republican House voted to take a single Cheerio, or cut $61 billion, out of the total federal debt. No word yet from the Democrat-controlled Senate or President Obama if they would like to do the same. However, given that President Obama says that cutting the deficit would, quote, endanger the economy, it seems unlikely that he will go along. On top of the $14 trillion in debt that the United States government is currently in, we also have unfunded liabilities, Social Security, Medicare, and the like. On top of that $14 trillion in debt, we have $106 trillion in unfunded liabilities for Social Security and Medicare. That's the large group of Cheerios. We voted to cut $61 billion out of $120 trillion. 